Hi everyone, so it's Wednesday, which means that it is technically a vlog day, but I'm gonna try something different today because my day is very standard. You've seen it a million and one times before. It's me vlogging at my computer, going to Pilates at lunchtime, coming back, sitting back at my laptop. So I thought instead of showing you that, I would show you three kind of festive, I'm like ready, I'm getting in the festive kind of Christmassy mood recipes and basically like breakfast, lunch and dinner and just show you what I eat throughout the day. And this video is actually sponsored by Waitrose, which is literally the dream for me. You can open up my cupboards, it's all Waitrose in there. All my recipe cards that I showed you in the other video that date back to like 2013, they're a Waitrose. I am such a fan. It is my local supermarket. The parking there is awesome at my local one as well. And I just love the range of produce that they have and things like their recipe cards, their magazines. They've got loads of recipes online as well. So I thought I would share three of those recipes today with you as part of the hashtag Christmas Together campaign, which I will talk about later on. But I am so excited to show you these. They are super, super tasty. And if you do give them a go, remember to use the Waitrose hashtag, which is hashtag Christmas together so let me know how you get on with them but first things first breakfast I thought I would talk you through each one as I go and I'll make sure that the recipes are either linked down below or I've written the recipes down there there'll be a ton of information in the description box but the first recipe is a clementine cranberry and pecan bircher muesli I mean does that not sound so incredible that basically sounds like dessert for breakfast but it's kind of healthy i will talk you through all of the ingredients and it's really quick and easy to make as well you could basically make this on a sunday night and then just have it for breakfast every morning kind of throughout the week because this makes like six to eight portions i'd say for me it makes six portions because i'm quite generous with my breakfast servings it's my favorite meal of the day so you basically just want to get a massive bowl and in that put 300 grams of jumbo oats two apples i core these and then i grate them in 300 ml of milk, whatever you want to use, be it dairy, almond, rice, oat, whatever. I use almond here. Um, 50 grams of pumpkin seeds. I've always got pumpkin seeds in my covers because they're just so easy to sprinkle on top of things. 250 ml of fresh clementine juice, which is honestly the best tasting juice ever. You need to try this. And also two clementines just peeled and segmented that you can use for decoration on the top. 800 grams of dry cranberries plus a little extra if you want to like sprinkle some on when you serve. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon of maple syrup, 400 grams of yogurt, again whatever kind of yogurt you want to use. You want to cover that bowl or pop it in a Tupperware box and put it in your fridge for at least three hours if not overnight is preferable. And that is the end result. Overnight it's kind of thickened up a little bit so I put the Birch Museum in obviously, then a couple of um, toasted pecans on the top. I peeled a clementine through that in there and also there are are some more cranberries as well but this basically smells like Christmas in a bowl I know there's quite a few of you that enjoy my apple birch muesli like my cinnamon apple birch muesli which I posted a couple of years ago I still get tweets about it now saying that some of you are having it for breakfast which is so cool but if you like that one I promise you you will love this I'm back from Pilates and I am definitely ready for some lunch but before that Let's talk about hashtag Christmas together, which is the theme of this year's Waitrose advert. Don't you just love the Christmas adverts? I'm so into that. But basically Christmas together is about my two favorite things, food and people combining. It's about, you know, when you put the tree up and you always have a mince pie or for us, Christmas morning, for some reason, we always have sausage rolls, homemade sausage rolls. I don't know what that is all about. Bubble and squeak on Boxing Day, like using all of the leftovers up. My nanny was the best at making that. She was honestly the boss of doing bubble and squeak. So it's just celebrating those lovely Christmassy moments that bring everyone together with food as well. I'm like, yes, I am in guys. I am so down for that. So if you're having your mates over for some champagne and nibbles, you can use the hashtag Christmas together on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. And actually I just had a little look on the tag on Instagram and somebody posted this photo. How insane does that cake look? They said they're making that as their own secret Santa gift. I was like, I wanna be your secret Santa. So it's a really good way of finding recipe inspiration and seeing what everyone is getting up to this Christmas. All this talk about food is making me rather hungry. So I'm gonna rustle up a Sri Lankan style omelet with an aubergine relish. Doesn't that sound very delicious? Very quick and easy to do, lots of protein for after you've done your like pre-Christmas workout or post-Christmas workout into the new year. Definitely a good one to keep under your belt for that. So I need some, oh, I forgot. I forgot that I had you guys up in that cabinet, but I need an aubergine pickle. 
a lime. It did say coriander leaves. I'm not the biggest fan of coriander, so I'll show you what I got instead. I got a little bit of parsley just for a bit of greenery, a lime. It says sunflower oil, but I've got vegetable oil, so we will go with that. Oh, shallots. It says one and a half shallots, but I feel like that is one and that is a half. <laughs> it said to use green chilies, but I've got a red one here to use up. And also chili flakes. I'm not sure I'm going to need both of these because I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to heat. But then tomatoes and then also eggs as well. You're going to need five eggs. And fun fact, all of Waitrose eggs they do across the whole range are all free range. They're good eggs. What a dad joke. Right, I think that's everything. Let's get started. Okay, so this relish seems pretty simple. You just do two tablespoons of the aubergine pickle. Then you need the juice of half a lime, and I've seen people do this on the TV, all the fancy chefs. I think you have to roll it to like free up the juices inside. <laughs> well, maybe not. Adding that in there. And then it says half the finely chopped shallot. So let's do some fine, very professional chopping. I'm gonna do the rest of my chopping. So I've got this shallot to chop, these tomatoes to chop, and then also my chili to chop as well. So I'm just gonna put those aside and I'm gonna pop my eggs in here with some chili flakes and also a little bit of salt and pepper as well. It says to put chili flakes in here, but I think my head will blow off if I put them in <laughs> with that chili as well. So I'm just gonna leave it seasoned, but not necessarily spicy. So I've just heated up a bit of oil in there. So I'm gonna pop my shallots and chilies in. Cook those off until the shallots are translucent. Now I'm just adding the tomatoes. I'm just gonna heat that through for about 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in with the egg mixture over the top. I do this with any kind of omelette that I make. It is the top secret to making it look absolutely lovely. Once you think the bottom is done, pop it under the grill to finish off the top. Omelette perfection, and you haven't had to flip it over. And there you go, there's the end result. I feel like this is a very good recipe to crack out when you want something fresh and quick that's easy to make, that's obviously got, you know, a bit of veg in there, it's got some protein in there. If you feel like you're basically just mince pie inside, I feel like this would be a really good one to make. So, all right, gonna eat that now. I am very excited about this recipe and I feel like this will probably be the most popular one for you guys. In fact, let me know, was it breakfast, lunch or dinner that tickled your fancy the most? I have a feeling it's gonna be this one. This is going to be a sweet potato and cauliflower cheese with a sumac breadcrumb. It's in the Waitrose Food November issue, which is currently out when this video goes out, and I'm very excited. I've never made like a cauliflower cheese before, but my mum makes a really mean one with like leeks and stuff in, but I, I think this is gonna be good. You, get, you might have to help me make a white sauce though. I'll give it a go. I've never made this one before, but I've done a little like blue peter style prepped everything. So I'll show you what we've got. So we've got sweet potato, cauliflower, butter, cheese and i just wanted to show you guys this this is the cheese that mark and i have become obsessed with how obsessed are you with this cheese I can eat that right now. <laughs> what did you say before i started filming I, said, I just want to eat the cheese that's all i want to do he just wants to eat this cheese no 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 it's going in here um we've got some flour then this is the sumac i hope i'm saying that right it's a spice used in middle eastern cuisine to add a lemony taste to salads or meat. Have a sniff of this. It does actually smell quite smell zesty. Oh yeah. So that's gonna be in the breadcrumb, which is this, which is a mixture of parsley, more of the cheese, um, breadcrumbs, and a little bit of smack on the top. Oh, and also milk as well. Okay, the first thing you've got to do is boil your sweet potato for four minutes. This is a pan of salted water, and then after four minutes, you put your cauliflower in, and you go for another four minutes, and then you drain it. Drain is ready to go. I forgot to say, to add a bit of greenery to the whole thing, we've done some Brussels sprouts with chestnuts, but we put them in a little bit too early, so we'll just pop them in at the end to reheat them. Right, my veg is draining, and now I'm gonna take my butter, and melt it, <laughs> there you go, in here and start to make the sauce. So in goes my flour, and then I think I mix this for two minutes until it goes golden brown. So let's see what happens here. Come on Nigella, tell us what you're doing. Okay, I've added the sumac into here, a table, no, a teaspoon, and then you're just supposed to add it slowly. Bit by bit. 
bit by bit. BRB. We'll see how the infamous Anna Newton patience fares. <laughs> <laughs> this took absolutely forever to thicken. To be fair, it was the 10 minutes that the recipe suggested, but in that time, I've eaten quite a lot of the Brussels sprouts. I think you've eaten a lot of the Brussels sprouts as I well. I haven't even tried them yet. You kidding me? I've eaten all of those. But don't you just think it's nice to have Brussels sprouts not in a Christmas dinner? Because I actually really like them with chestnuts. They're very tasty. So white sauce is ready to go. I'm going to get the veg. This goes in. And you give it a good stir. In it goes. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> that is like cheesy heaven. This is winter comfort food to the max. Mark didn't film the whole section, minus Instagram husband points. But all I did was put that like breadcrumb, the breadcrumb, the cheese, the parsley, and the sumac. And I just sprinkled it on top. There you go. Oh, that smells really cheesy, doesn't it? Yeah, cheesy. <laughs> and then we're going to pop it in here for about 10 we stick the Brussels sprouts back in at the end just to get To them stop you warm. eating them rather than make oh God, them warm. Oh so good. Mm. Place up, place up. Yeah. So if anyone needs dinner, come round ours because we've got enough to feed about 400 people. Do you want more? I think that's probably enough for the time <laughs> being. I've given Mark way more Brussels sprouts because I've already eaten my portion. Um, when I was making the sauce, but I have given myself loads of the little um, chestnut bits because they're amazing. All right. Um, and also, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Also know that our plates are massive. Like this is my hand next to the plate, so that is a huge portion. But that does look absolutely delicious. But that is it. Thank you so much to Waitrose for sponsoring this video. It was literally a dream collaboration because I am such a Waitrose fan girl. Let me know what recipe sung to you the most: breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh, I don't know, I think it's definitely like a toss up between breakfast and dinner for me. This looks incredible. And do remember if you're sharing anything Christmassy to use the hashtag Christmas together or just have a look on it for general food inspiration to see what other people are getting up to. Thank you for watching. Like I said, everything will be down below. Recipes, links to recipes, it will be down there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week back to normal scheduling. Bye. P.S. This might be one of the best things I've ever cooked at home. Honestly, it's so good. Make this, let me know what you think. It's spot on.